What is up guys? I'm Moana Turtle and we have the Elite Trainer Box for Hidden Fates. Managed to pick this up yesterday at a Walmart. However, since I am traveling, I was not able to get a video out. So I am doing it this morning and actually, so it's about 9.40 and after this, I'm probably going to make some runs, check out the local Walmart, Target and stuff like that, just to see if I can find any more. This is the product at least I have been waiting for for a long time. So I'm just trying to open up this poster thing so we can use something as a background. Yeah, you know, it kind of just has the main Pokemon in the set. But, ooh, that's ugly, but it'll do. Got one of these books that we never look at. I do love the Elite Trainer boxes. I feel like the boxes are just really good for storage. And for these special sets, it's the best deal as far as bang for your buck. You get these little one-off things that aren't really useful, but I like the box and the sleeves. We'll actually be using the sleeves. Ooh, here we go. Here is that promo stained glass. Looks amazing. All right, let's get into these packs. So best of luck to for everyone finding some of these. Oh man, it's been rough. Game nerds canceled 75% of my orders. And then so then I was like, alright, let me change gears, pre-order on GameStop's website. Then boom, all those got canceled. So it's been a little rough. So which is why I'm going to go out in a little bit and see if I can find some. So let's see for our first pack. Brock's grit. Magmar. Chansey, Jigglypuff, Eevee, Caterpie, Paris, Ekans, a Weezing is our first one, and then a Bill's Analysis, which is actually a pretty good card. But, ooh, look at that. We'll open that in a second and put it in one of these cool sleeves. I usually don't use those sleeves. I prefer, like, my KMC ones, but since we are on the road... What we're gonna have to stick with. A couple people have already left some comments saying that, like, from other videos they've watched, that pull rates aren't as good on these ETBs. Uh, let me know if that's been your experience too. I feel like always checking on Reddit, you always see like really good pulls, so it's kind of hard to tell from there. Like, no one wants to post a picture of their. Actually, sometimes people do post pictures of their bad pulls, but just to kind of like vent their frustrations, I guess. But these sleeves are nice, but I don't know, they're just not 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 as good compared to like the KMC ones. I feel like they're, I don't know, almost like a little big too. But we did get a small hit. Actually, let's just open this right now. Uh, light texturing and man that car looks so good I'm very surprised they just have this as their promo I feel like they probably could have gotten away with giving the full art as the promo and then having that as like another secret rare so as far as like I mean there's a lot of things that they obviously do for to make more money but I feel like that was one thing that they could have done that they didn't so uh, I can appreciate that all right, so no real big hits so far in this ETB. But the nice thing is it does come with a lot of packs. Clefairy, Cubone, Vaporeon, not the evolution we are looking for. Followed by a Staryu. Hmm, what people have been saying might be true. So as a result of this, like since I am away, I did have some tin openings already ready for the next couple of days. So as a result, we'll have extra Hidden Fates openings for the weekend. And come Monday, we will start a giveaway for our Charizard collection tin. And we got a Gabite Shiny. So our first Shiny, and it's a pretty good one. Although I think, I, I believe this is a dupe for me. Man, I, I, I feel like I'm just getting non-stop dupes 
and I feel like I'm not that close to collecting all the shinies yet, which is uh, very frustrating, but as long as we're getting hits, I suppose that is the most important thing. So I suppose that alternative is much worse. Alright, let's see, we got Water Energy, Sabrina, Charmeleon, Chansey, Slowpoke, Psyduck, Clefairy, a Magikarp, Ekans, ooh, man, the birds are coming out, yes, that's what you can get from ETB, lots of birds, still looking for the rainbow one, oh, we got another card, what do we have, boom, nice, this is the, <laughs> this is the evolution we're looking for, so now we got Sylveon, we got Glaceon, still looking for that Leafeon, oh man, we need a couple sleeves for this pack, wow, this was a monstrous pack, Yes, we definitely are no longer cursed, and for anyone that's new to the channel, what we're referring to as far as a curse goes is, it took me, I don't know, I think 50 plus packs, I, I would I would not be uh, at all surprised if it was more like 60, to pull my first shiny GX. Not that we're getting bad pulls, we were getting, we got a couple of gold cards, got a good amount of regular shinies, good amount of the full art trainers, but just no shiny GX's. But now they're starting to roll in at a appropriate pace, so definitely got over that curse. And let's see what we got for this pack. Can we continue our hot streak? No, but that's okay. So let's see, let's think. Let's just do some quick math. We got 10 packs. I, for me to call a good opening you know it's kind of like half the packs have something so like maybe like five hits reverse energies I don't know I count as like a little bit less than half do we count the promo I feel like we shouldn't but considering this is the first ETB we've op we, I've opened uh, I am very happy with that promo but hopefully we'll have a bunch of those to show off all right, we have a Lapras for our rare, and then Erica's Hospitality. Hmm, so this feels below average. Or it feels like the pull rate is indeed less than the tins, at least. All right, if we can get a couple more loaded packs, I think we'll be in the clear. Ekans, Coughing, Paris, Cubone, Voltorb, Jolteon, man, lots of evolutions, and then a Psyduck. Piles are all over the place. Two packs left. If you guys have not stopped by the Discord yet, definitely do so. It's been a lot of fun just to chat about random nonsense, and one thing I really like is sometimes we have pretty good conversations about different things about the market and stuff like that get a good idea how people are doing pull wise and people also show off their collections in the the oh gosh we, have, we are killing it with these full art rocket cards this might be number five that that's our dupe these are good dupe problems but man oh my gosh another loaded pack all right i think this is turning out to be a, a just fine uh, ETB, Beldum, uh, not sure if I have this one already, so we will take it, really like this card, love this art, alright, our last pack, we had two insane packs, and let's see, we had that Gabite, and then a reverse energy, so I guess that's like five and a half, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm content with this box. Nothing nothing crazy, but definitely solid pulls. But can we get something good in the close? Voltorb, Pikachu, Erica's Hospitality, and boom, Metapod. So that is it, guys. I am going to run out and see if we can't find some more of these to pick up. But uh, yeah, best of luck to everyone. And well, once again, Walmart came in clutch with uh, putting out their stuff in stock early. Had to check out four different stores before I found some, but uh, hey, well, I would say it was worth it. Managed to pick up like four of them.
And just for our pulls, we did have one insane pack with Jesse and James and a Beldum. And then another pack with some birds and a Sylveon. Oh, I love Sylveon. I do have a plush of that. Here is that promo stained glass. That is amazing. And then we did get a Gabite and a Reverse Energy. So yeah, we did get that, you know, 50% um, plus a little bit and that sick promo. So man, this is the product I've been waiting for. Best of luck for everyone to find some out there. And I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.